My name is Eam Explorers and I promise you guys that I will return to the abandoned, untouched house with everything left behind from the past where the Nazi was hiding. Uh, I promise to go back here. If we have 20 new notification members that press the bell button, we will reach that call. So right now I'm back and we're gonna take a better look at this incredible abandoned place. You guys been waiting for this a long time, so let's go. So everybody, we're gonna take a better look. We're gonna go in the treasure chest, but there's just so much to see here. Last time we didn't stay here too long because it's a very risky location in the Netherlands, but there's old stuff like this. This old game that we used to play actually in the 90s, which is really cool. I don't know the English pronunciation of this, but we call it Jeu de Boule or something. <laughs> <I don't laughs> is that something else, cameraman? <laughs> no, I don't know, I don't know. We don't know, but it's... Uh, yeah. Also, last time I was here, we closed the door. This time it was open. Uh, it's only, been, it hasn't been that long, but it's crazy because the door is open. We haven't checked the house yet, so there might be somebody else here. We just don't know, so. But yeah, we're gonna look through everything that's left in this house, so. Uh, it's kind of dark, so it's hard to see, but there's just so much time treasure in this abandoned place. Ah, uh, whoa, this is old. That's one of the original Holy Bibles from like 1950. I think that is insane. It's, not, it's completely falling apart, like it's that old. Oh, <laughs> yo guys, this is crazy. Like this is the stuff I love to find. It's in Dutch. There's an old newspaper article in there too. Uh, there's a name in there, I cannot show you that. But let's see what the article is about. Um, So it's about some kind of market in the Netherlands, a horse market. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's pretty interesting. This is why I returned, because there's just so much to see. I found another beautiful book. Uh, I don't know if it's also a Bible. No, it's a photo of them. But unfortunately, there's no uh, photos in there left. But yeah, Johnny Cash. <laughs> So guys, there's even like old plates, like uh, from Johnny Cash, which is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, <laughs> things like this, it's just really cool to find in, uh, in abandoned places. So yeah, we're gonna look through everything what's here because that's what you guys wanted. It's gonna be a little bit different, but that's just so much to see. It's like a big museum from like 1950. So let's go. So guys, there's just so much to see here. Um, it's kind of hard. To show you guys everything but we're gonna try uh last time we didn't go in here this time we will uh, we're gonna see like there's even food here and the plates old candles many many spiders and keep in mind it's uh it's october right now so it's full of rats it's rat season so that's just gonna be a lot of rats we just check those bibles and stuff i hope the sound is good because i'm talking from the behind I just really quickly want to show you guys everything now because last time we, we were in a rush here. Eh? There's a suitcase. Uh, my buddy Wout is gonna see what's in the suitcase. Which I uh, did. That one. <laughs> so me and him, we haven't seen each other in like freaking <laughs> 15 years or something. We used to go to school together as kids. Like we were like uh, six years old or something. It's locked, but it's empty. It's locked. All right. It's, it's beautiful, no? It's gorgeous. This is all the old furniture that used to be in this house. And the old suits. Um, it's really interesting. A lot of has changed here since last time. This wasn't here. So this does mean that somebody comes here. Maybe other explorers, I don't know. Maybe people that live here to check on the place. But this wasn't here last time. You guys, this is stuff that we missed last time. That's a singer box and 
I found those a lot. People are always angry if I don't open them. So let's see if there's a singer in there. Yo, there's an original singer in there. Are you fucking kidding me? Yo, this is... Let me zoom in. It's kind of hard to zoom in like this. Yo, guys, that's an original singer. Are you freaking kidding me? This is what I love about those locations. <laughs> Still works. Focusing. Give me a sec. Come on. Focus. Focus. The hunter is for. Top. Yo guys, look at this singer that's still left here. This is insane. Yo. And the cloth is still on there, so it's been used. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small we can So explorers, right now I'm sitting in the living room Everything left behind where I already found some amazing time treasures here What I'm gonna tell you guys is the history for those that didn't see last video that I took here in a kind of rush. Um, there lived two people here, a man and a woman. Uh, they had a Nazi in a secret room upstairs, which we're also gonna check in this episode. Uh, yeah, this guy was hiding. He was working for the NSB, which was a political party of Dutch people who were with the Germans. So they betrayed their own people, the Dutch people, to get better. So if there were Jews hiding in Dutch houses, they were the people to betray them. So those were NSBers. They had a German Nazi hiding here after the war, because after the war the women got shaved bald, the women NSB got shaved bald, and the men got killed a lot of times. So yeah, the men that lived here got betrayed by the guys that lived here, which was a Nazi, and yeah, they killed them. I don't know if they killed them inside this house, but apparently he was dead. So it's really interesting history. I just wanted to tell you. There is a Nazi uniform in here, people told me. Last time we checked the uniforms, but it was only normal clothes. There wasn't a uniform, so maybe we can find it this time. It would be really cool. Um, yeah, let's just take a look around this amazing place. So last time we didn't check things like this. And yeah, there is actually a lot of stuff in the um, Bibles. Yeah, it's Bibles, I think little bibles they were really religious especially inside this village it's somewhere in the netherlands in the middle of nowhere that's why it's so intact nobody knows this place that's why we don't share locations because we don't take steal anything and we don't break anything so so yeah let's take a quick look what else we can find so yeah guys over here we have the little cart which is actually walking on electricity which i didn't even notice last time so i guess the lights go on which is kind of cool mm. let's see what else we can find in this treasure chest nothing here nothing in that one well we did we do have this little thing which is absolutely gorgeous like it's a little uh dancing thing i guess you could say you can wind it up let's see if it still works no way that still works since 1950 Yo, the spider webs on and everything, mate. Wow, what a find. Yo, that's amazing, guys. I love finding things like this. This is why I love this hobby. It's like a living museum that we are inside right now. It's risky, yes, but it's worth it because finding things like this from the past is just absolutely amazing. What the hell is this? Wow. I don't know what this is, but it's pretty cool. And got some old postcards which I cannot show you guys uh, because there's personal information on there and I don't want people to find this place because they're gonna steal stuff but look at this this is from it's about the queen again which is pretty cool because if you look behind us over there there's a picture of our old queen I think it's Queen Wilhelmina I'm not sure Maybe Juliana. My cameraman doesn't know either, but they love the Queen and King, that's for sure. Because you keep finding stuff about that. 
I'm gonna put this back. This thing keeps going, it's pretty cool. There's a light bulb in there, it's not really interesting. Old screws in here. Oh, there's an old picture in there, that's pretty cool. It's kind of hard to see, but... Can you see? It's like a farm. It's really hard to see, but... That's cool. Hey guys, I'm still standing in the incredible... Like the living room that they used to sit in. Kitchen. We found so much more stuff than last time, but there's still more to see. There's little cabinets here, I'm gonna open them. Hope there's no rats in there, because it's rat season. To open them. What is that? Looks like a vault. Yo, we actually used to have one of those back in the days. It's a sewing kit. They might have used that for the for the singer. It's actually a sewing thing, yeah. I think my mom used to have one of those. Yeah, it's full of sewing stuff. What is that? Gaslight. <laughs> it's full of uh, full of paintings or, or nails. I mean, it's kind of weird. Yeah, it's all sewing. We still have the coffee beans in here. <laughs> coffee beans, guys. That's crazy. But mostly, what I found here is uh, sewing stuff from the women. Yeah, see more sewing stuff. Can you see that, cameraman? Yes. Can you take a close-up? It's just full of sewing. So we can tell the women used to love sewing. So everybody, this thing is still going. <laughs> I, I only wind it up a little bit, but it's still going. It's kind of nice, it's kind of peaceful. Uh, the ghost didn't like it because he slammed the door, but let's continue to look. Um, yeah, I'm actually curious what's in here. Isn't this for sewing too, guys? I believe it is. It looks so familiar. I think my grandma used to have one of those. So cool. There's an old flute. It's kind of interesting. What is this? I'm not sure. I think it's for uh, for ma math. With the little thing. Actually, yeah, it is. See, that's what it's for. They use that for ma for math. It's kind of cool. Hmm. What the fuck? Yep. Yeah. Dude, I didn't even know that you could open this. But my cameraman did. It's just full of nails and stuff and sewing stuff. Yo, what the? Have you ever seen a treasure chest full of full of mold? This is unhealthy to breathe in, guys. Why are we gloss? And I don't know if you guys saw this, but it's full of mold. And there's another treasure chest. Um, of course, we're gonna take a look at that one too. It's full of mold as well. This one actually has something in there, but I don't know how to open it. Oh, wait. it's a comb. Pretty cool though. One more thing I want to show you guys is this thing because I didn't see that last time, but it's really cool. It's full of spider webs. <sighs> Yo, looks like it's is it broken? Whoa, I have never seen so many spiders. Look at this thing. Too bad it's broken, is it? Or is it supposed to do that? I feel like it's broken, but it's, it's so cool. Wow. Wonder. I wonder what brand this is or something. 
because it's so cool. We're gonna put it back, but it's so cool. So this was very interesting. Um, take a last look around this place. Uh, it's maybe kind of hard to see on the camera. I'm not sure. Is it? No, it's good. <laughs> well, this is just. Yeah, this is dope. I like the police hat too. Um, just for us. I like to see it. It's full of spiders, but just for you guys, we're gonna put it on. This is what the guy used to wear to his walk, which is pretty damn cool. <laughs> I'm gonna put it back now. It feels weird to wear this. Uh, nobody else worn this in like 50 years, and I'm here wearing it. So yeah, it's a police uh, badge on the. It's kind of cool. So yeah, let's put it back and let's continue. Guys, last time we didn't go in here. But remember when we found that book about the dead people, uh, the the graves? Well, guess what's in here? There's a freaking, you know when somebody dies, they put them in a box under the ground. I don't know how to say that in English, but that's one of those things, what the dead people things. Are you kidding me? Well, you will see. You will see what I mean. <laughs> Fucking hot. Eh? Yeah, I fucking hate rats, guys. It's rat season and it's scared the crap out of me, but let's go. Yeah, what did I go? Of 48. <laughs> guys, it's full of spiders, but. Yeah, this is what I meant. This is what people got put in when they died. Uh, so maybe they used to make gravestones or something. Maybe they, they, they took care of the dead people. I'm not sure, but it's pretty interesting. It's full of mold over there. So we just cannot stay here too long. I want to show you guys one more thing. All the food or drinks or whatever this is, is left. I'm not gonna drink that. I once ate something in an abandoned place like this. It literally gave me uh, stomach disease. So I am literally not gonna do that ever again. <laughs> this this looks like it will kill you. So yeah, let's let's go back up and see the other rooms. So last time I regretted not taking a better look at the uniforms, which are right here, because apparently there's a Nazi uniform in here, but I didn't look. There might be somewhere else in this building, I'm not sure, but you would expect it to be uh, somewhere here, but those are just codes. Somebody in my comments told me there's no Nazi uniform there, so that's why I want to look. But I think she's right, I don't see any, any Nazi uniforms. That's too bad, maybe it's somewhere else in this building, just... There's so much to see, so I guess we're gonna continue because if you look up here, like last time, it's just I never seen so many spiders. It's kind of hard to see, maybe, but you, you didn't see. You can't see it? No. Well, it's there you see it. It's full of them. Maybe the Nazi uniform is in here. <laughs> it's like a wash I think. I don't know. I'm not gonna look in there. Uh, identification. I cannot show you guys this, of course, but I'm gonna show you guys the picture. So this is that dude. Yo. Yo, that's cool. That is so cool. It's a really vintage Polaroid. See? Is that a Polaroid or a... Yeah, it must be. So guys, this is a closet in the room. Behind it was like a closet door, but they took it out. And behind that, there's a whole room. Look at that. There's a whole room. And this is where the Nazi was hiding for sure. Behind the living room or the sleeping room of the two people. There were a couple and they were living here. So we're gonna go in the secret room where the Nazi was hiding. Maybe that's where the uniform is. Last time we didn't see. This time we're gonna go. Let's go. So everybody, right now I'm in that secret closet room. And I was right. This is the room where he was hiding. There's actually a bed hidden here. And behind me he had like a little desk uh, with his shoes and stuff. Really interesting. That's, that's, Oh, that's everything. The floor here is <laughs> a little bit sinked in because it's so dangerous. Well, if we go here, come, come here, cameraman. That's the whoa, <laughs> it's so dangerous, guys. This is the bath. Yo, this is dangerous. So many spiders. Nobody has been here since like 1950, 60 ish. That's why there's so many spiders. But just take a look at this. Can you see that? Can you get that bed on camera? It's a hidden bed, guys. Where the Nazi used to sleep. This is insane. 
this is a crazy find i was hoping we would find the secret room last time we didn't if you haven't seen last video go check it out this time we did it's absolutely it's water guys it's water risk it's it's just we're back in history we are time travelers right now so i want you guys to leave a thumbs up for sure before we go to the next room also press that bell notification button guys because we need the people to come back because it's so hard to film those locations to find those locations so press that bell button like you did last time so you get a notification whenever i go live or go to a new location because otherwise at one point we just cannot do it anymore also i have a wish list I want to thank everybody for that that checked out my wish list there's some equipment flashlights that kind of stuff on that it's in the description that keeps us going as well so yeah let's see what else is in this room guys and i want to thank everybody for the amazing support because you guys are the best because i can do my passion because of you guys so let's continue so we are in another room now upstairs uh but you gotta keep in mind back in after the war 1945 those guys that lived here they betrayed that nazi so the dutch military or the americans i'm not sure they walked in this house took the guy in this little secret room back there they took him with him and he died this all happened in this house it's full of history um and honestly we keep feeling a, like a presence i never have this feeling but it's just really weird doors keep slamming we keep hearing sounds it just might be rats you don't know but it's just a creepy feeling like they don't want us to be in this house that's really weird what is that Perfume or something or alcohol. It's pretty cool. It's a leather case. This is really unique, actually. It's a whiskey. It's a leather case. Some of you guys said that they used human leather back in the days. I'm not sure if that's true, but there's like leather lamps in this building. Yo, there's so many spiders. Yo. So now we are in the best room, the room with the treasure chest. But everything is treasure chest. Take a look around this room really quickly, really slowly. Everything is left here, just in a really bad state. Wow, and the mirror, there's no vandalism. It's just, yeah. This wasn't here last time, by the way. So that's kind of weird. I'm 100% sure this wasn't here because I walked here. Why did they put this here? What's the, I'm not sure why they put it here. Maybe that's, I feel like there's somebody living here that still looks after this place once in a while and comes in here. To see if everything's okay and we've been here for like an hour so we cannot be here too long so we're gonna quickly see what's in here left <laughs> there's an old uh, soup spoon kind of cool from the history <laughs> just more crystals guys like i said all the plates all the crystals it's all left behind it's still cool but i guess we've seen that stuff I already checked that one. It's old pictures of boats. Nothing in there. Verder open die bovenste. Yeah, we already checked that one. It's with the spoon. And there's more uh, crystals and stuff left behind, which is kind of cool. It's a weird wooden box here. Eh? What's that? It's about boats. Looks like this guy loves boats. Maybe he wasn't a police officer, but maybe he was a marine uh, guy with the boats because of the hat. Like a captain. I don't know. There he is again. I think that's him, right? I'm not sure. It's pretty damn cool. And another cool thing is, if you look behind this uh, fallen wallpaper, there's a painting left there, look. Whoa, it's full of spiders, but it's kind of hard to see, but it's really cool. This is echo vet, you know? You can the first lava further open, yeah? This one? Yeah. Oh. Just some knives and stuff just left from back then. Like, they're old, guys. Those, those belong in the museum. So, guys, one thing we didn't check is the other uniforms here. Maybe the Nazi uniform is in here. It's just a coat. Coat. I mean, they might have been. It's kind of hard to see in the dark. A women's jacket. It's full of spiders, that's for sure. Um, 
It's a really cool uh, stereo here, pretty old fashioned. I don't know why they put chairs in front of this, like that. That makes me want to see what's inside there, to be honest. Is that a vault? Yeah, this is a vault. Yo, this is a vault, guys. This is a vault. Wonder what's in there, that's crazy. It's completely locked, it's, it's metal. See, that's two locks. That's why they put something in front of it, because they don't want people to ransack the, uh, the vault. That's the reason. Yeah, we're not gonna be able to open that one. That's the reason we don't share those locations. But yeah, now it's time for the treasure chest that you guys all been waiting for. But before we do that... <laughs> let's see what's in this bag, because... After last video, I've been very curious what's in here. Ew, what the hell is this? That's so weird, that's a weird bag. It's like, it's like stocking in it to protect stuff. That's kind of cool. But yeah, let's open the trash chest. So guys, it's time for the thing. Uh, I hate to disappoint you guys, but... <laughs> I hate to disappoint you guys, but... Uh, it's from uh, another needling machine, like a singer we found earlier. So guys, my cameraman is going to show you guys up close. There's, uh, there's old pictures of uh, like a granddaughter or something, or maybe the wife, I'm not sure. It's hard to recognize those people. They, are, they all look similar on the black and white. But it's really cool. There's like golden irons there and crystals, it's just absolutely gorgeous. It's one of the best time treasures I have ever filmed at, for sure. And I did a lot of abandoned, untouched places with everything left behind, but none of them is as good as this one, so it's good to be back here. So guys, right now we are in another living room, which is in the war state, the floor is gone. Uh, but this is the room that was full of war stuff from back in the war, which is so cool. Um, yeah, let's just take a look inside. This one is the most okay. So as my cameraman is showing you guys, this room is insane. There's an old Tiffany clock over there, like I showed you last time. They are incredible. It's really rusty though. And if you look over here, you have the, the... I thought there were bullets, but apparently they're grenades. Somebody told me in the comments. So, which is pretty damn cool. Uh, people wonder why there was a 1980 Australia calendar here. What I think is he used to travel maybe to Australia after the war. He must have still lived here before it got abandoned. Um, till like 1980 and then he probably died. That's what I imagine. But it's cool that he has this. Means he must have uh, traveled there. I guess. Um, yeah, this is freaking dope. I didn't show you that last time, it's heavy actually. This is so cool, look at that. <laughs> That's so cool, I think this is actually one of those things that actually walk with like little bullets or something. Super heavy, must be copper. Those things are water fortune, that's why we don't share this location. Because it's just a uh, time treasure. But this, this is cool, and the grenades. Yo, that's super heavy. I didn't expect that. They, they are super heavy. They're from 1893 guys. It says 1893. I don't even know. They feel like they're, they're still walking or something. So I don't want to touch them. Actually, I'm going to ask my cameraman. He's been in the army. Do you know what this is? No, I don't know. But it's not dangerous. Not S dangerous at all. But it's super heavy. Yes, that's the grenade. It's like there's still powder in there. but <laughs> I shouldn't do that. It makes too much noise, but it's cool. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it doesn't say it. It doesn't say date, but it's super cool. God damn it. <laughs> so guys, we are in a busy neighborhood, everybody can hear this. Okay, let's 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 continue. Let's hope nobody heard that. Yeah, did you show the floor? It's just so dangerous. Okay, another thing we didn't show last time is what's in this. I don't even know if I can walk here. 
another Bible. Oh. Photos. Wait, what is this? Wait, what are those? What is this? Huh? Some bookies. Get open my God. I'm shaking. Something on there, but. Rookkaarten. Really? So that cards for people who die. So. Yeah, I guess the women that lived here, we didn't know what she was. The guy was a policeman. The women must have did something with dead people. So there's so much stuff here. Oh. Yeah, and this is what we just walked on, by the way. <laughs> the water's just dripping down because it's been raining today. So yes, Whoa. yeah. Let's. I guess we just continue because there's so much to see. I don't know if we showed you this stuff. I just <laughs> fell to the floor almost. Yeah, we didn't show you this time, this stuff last time. You see the, the, the married couple again. It's just so cool to find stuff like this from history. Uh, small pictures here, guys. There's a key, probably from this thing, but it's open. There's actually some jewelry in there. Some uh, brush, brush that you would put on your... Uh, on your t-shirts, there's more. See? Some uh, amazing jewelry, I don't know how much that is worth, but of course you don't take it. But it's pretty cool. It's another picture. Pretty damn cool, guys. Melbourne. Australia. So I just found another thing, it's from uh, Melbourne, Australia, like a souvenir, so they definitely traveled to Australia. That, that explains the calendar, I guess. Yo, check that out, huh? Two. Sure. VOC. So it's from the East Indian Trading Company. How cool is that, with spider webs on there. Yeah, this is why you guys wanted me to return. This is why I promised to return if people pressed that bell button, I did. For me, it's hard to travel here, so thanks for those that pressed it. Uh, yeah, it's just so cool, there's just so much to see. So rusty. That's creepy. That's a creepy looking uh, clock, I don't know why. It's kinda... It's kinda creepy. It's heavy too. Back in the days, things were much sturdier, much stronger than today. Just clothes in there, nothing, nothing too special. Actually, these are some really cool crystals in there. Oh, I'm pictures, mate. Can you come to this side? So guys, I found a music book. Back in the days, people were more religious and more into music, so it's pretty cool. It's, yeah, as you can see, it's super old. I kind of want to put it back as it was before it gets any worse. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of the best abandoned places in the whole world, be sure to turn the bell notification button on all notifications. And if you want to award me for my hard work, as it is very hard for me to do this hobby with my health problems and nerve pain, you can always leave a like and comment. I appreciate all the amazing support on the channel and wishlist. With this being said, thanks a lot and I hope to see you guys next week for a brand new abandoned location. Bye bye.